Hi, I'm Tanya, and today I'm going to draw this cute penguin. All right. So I use a pen for a lot of my sketches, but um, feel free to use a pencil. I start with the beak and his head. Come down his neck, shoulder, and you want a wing. All right. I'll put on his beak somewhere. You want them to be about the same, the upper and lower part. All right, so come this way. You want him to have a little bit of a thinner neck. All right. And his body here. Now notice how I came out a little bit right here. That's for his thigh, I think is what it would be called. All right, and now his foot. All right, now his other foot is kind of off the ground here in this image. Now I recommend for uh, drawing a picture yourself that you use an original image uh, and not base it off of my uh, my sketch here. And the reason for that is uh, cumulative errors. Um, painting off of a painting, you can kind of get, um, you know, cumulative errors. And his eye. And he has kind of a white patch here. And I'll show you the original. See the white patch right there. Now his beak has a bit of both black and orange. I believe this is a Gentoo penguin. I'm not 100% sure about that. And this here is his tail. Okay, a little black tip on his wings. All right. And now I'll paint him. Oh, so we've got a line here. His head is actually black. So you want a border there between his black head and his white body. Oh, and another thing I forgot, a horizon line. So, put that where you can see it. A little bit of blue. Now something you have to remember is if you do draw it in pen, uh, pen is water soluble, which means it can smudge when you paint. I can see the smudging a little bit right there. Now, if you want a loose, kind of dirty looking style, um, it's really not a problem. But if you like a tighter, cleaner, cleaner looking painting, you probably want to stick with a pencil. And I'm using just a little bit of black here. The idea is to go for a light gray on this uh, snow here. And just a little definition in the sky. You want it to be completely white. You want it to be a little bit interesting. Okay, 
And there's that. So I'm going to use a, lit, a light gray. It's a little too dark. Okay, water it out. Yeah, if you uh, apply a color and it's a little too dark, clean your brush and water it down. That's a trick I've learned. Yep, that's a little too dark again. Pick it up. Alright. And we have a little bit of shading for his body. And I want a little bit of shading in the lower part of his wings here. Okay. Now I'm going to get a stronger black and paint his head. Now you want the eye to be as strong a black as you can get. And often to do that, I'll paint it and come back in a minute or two to uh, darken it. Okay. I'm using some orange here. Ooh, it's bleeding into there. That's something to watch. Let it dry just a little bit before you paint adjacent areas can help with that bleeding. And I will darken it back up. Now, in this particular image, here, I'll show you. His um, wings are yellow, orange, a little bit of orange added, and his feet are the same, yellow and orange. So I'm just starting with the yellow, and then I'm going to drop in some orange. Yeah, or you can, if you'd rather, you can mix the yellow and orange together to get a light color before you apply it. But I'm just adding it after. Orange on his feet. Hmm. Well, not much I can do about that now. Yeah, see it bled a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going back to my black. And I'm applying a little bit at the tip here. And over here. And I'm going to give him a shadow. And his tail here is black. Dropping a little bit of black into his feet. All right. Let's see. I'm not quite happy with this snow yet. I'll give it a little more definition. Alright, and like I said, I'm going to try and draw, drop in a little 
extra black on his eye. See if I can get that a little darker. All right. Oh, if you notice, I've got a paper towel here I'm drying my brush on. All right. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.